Hi guys, and welcome to my Doctor Who Season 11, Episode 1, The Woman Who Fell to Earth Review. So yes, it is a new era for Doctor Who. Yes, we are on to the 11th season now, and we are, th for the first time ever, of course, with a woman playing the lead role as the Doctor now, Jodie Whittaker, of course, taking over from Peter Capaldi. We all knew that last year. Um, and yeah, we waited a long 10 months to see her debut episode, of course, but they had to after uh, Peter Capaldi's last episode in Christmas. And um, yeah, it's been a long 10-month wait to see how she, she was going to do. A lot of anticipation, you know. Doctor Who, I think, I think a lot of the Doctor Who fan base was a little divided, you know, because there's a lot of um, Doctor Who fans who feel like, you know, a woman has no place playing the Doctor, it's ruined the show, ugh, it's just the BBC, it's the BBC pushing feminism down our throats and all, all that crap. Uh, I, I was down for this, you know, I think, I think, I was really excited when she was announced as the Doctor, and um, yeah, so I watched her debut episode last night, as we all did, The Woman Who Fell to Earth, and um, on the whole, it was good, it was good, I liked it. But I didn't love it. Um, yeah, and I'm, there's a few reasons why, but I'll get started on, on the good stuff first. So it feels like a soft reboot, just like um, when Smith took over from Tennant. Basically, we know we've got a new showrunner um, with Chris Chibnall. We've got a new got new doctor, new companions, completely new story. We've got a new Sonic, new out, new outfit, and I assume we're going to get a new TARDIS in the next episode. So yeah, it, it basically it's like when Smith took over from um, when um, Smith took over from Tennant, of course, that um, was when Moffat took over from um, Russell T. Davis. It feels like a, a brand new show, to be honest. I and mean, then that's good and bad, I feel. Um, so let's start with the good, of course. So, um, Jodie Whittaker, let's get started on the big one. Um, I think she's great. Yeah, I think she's put all the doubt, doubters to sleep. I think she's going to be a really good doctor. I mean,. Oh, I mean, she has so much pressure on her. The very first woman woman playing the Doctor, you know, after we've had so many male actors playing this role for the last, six, what, 55 years. So it's really impressive that she's just managed to come in and make the part her own straight away. I think she's really good. I love her, like, her, like, her northern accent, like like Christopher Robinson's Doctor. She's so good. Um... And I love her as a person too. Like she was on the Graham Norton show, and she's such a she's such a nice, down to earth, funny person. And yeah, you can tell she's a big Doctor Who fan too. Um, yeah, so I do think she's great. Um, took a while to get going, I think this episode, but I do think she's a really good Doctor, and I think she's going to become a really great one as the season progresses. You know, as she gets to more to grips with the character. I thought the companions were pretty good. Of course, we've got well, pretty much three new companions now. It's a big companion trio, so. Um, We've got, um, I don't, I'm not good with the names, but um, we've got a guy with dyspraxia. Apparently the BBC are pushing that, like basically trying to promote promote awareness for that illness. So, um, yeah, he's a, but he seems like a really nice guy. He was he was cool. There's a police officer, but I assume she wants to retire and come with, go with the doctor. Um, and then we have um, Bradley Walsh from The Chase, who's suddenly in this. Yeah, he's as an older companion, but of course he's, a, he's an actor too, wasn't he? Because I think he was in EastEnders. But um, yeah, I think the, they were all great. We really liked them. I think they're going to be some fun companions, basically. Have they find the Doctor? So um, yeah, it's on with the plot. Um, weird plot. I'm going to say not not a great opening plot for a debut episode for a Doctor. I'm probably going to say it was. Maybe the weakest, alongside Deep Breath with Capaldi. But yeah, well, as it starts with, she's just falls into the train, and when she's falling from the TARDIS, and she's after she's generate, generated, and there's, there's this big spiraling thing on the train, and then there's this alien bounty hunter with all the teeth. He collects teeth of his victims, and, and yeah, <laughs> it was a bit weird. The story, I didn't, um, yeah, even. I'm hoping that it gets stronger as the season progresses, but I think in terms of a story, a debut story for the new Doctor, this was a bit weak. It was a bit. There was a few pacing issues too, um, like when um, Bradley Wiggins, Bradley Walsh's um, girlfriend, wife dies, uh, she just zzz, at the end to save them all. Like it, it just felt so forced, so rushed. Like what? She's dead. She's dead. Uh, and then, like, so then suddenly it's her funeral, and the, it's like what? And then the Doctor's and it's just weird. Also. I've got to say, at times, it, it it didn't feel like I was watching Doctor Who. And that's not me being, you know, oh, it's a woman, the show's ruined. No, I love Doctor Who. I'm a massive Doctor Who fan, have been ever since it came back in 2005. Um, but I'm not sure if this is a good or bad thing, but I was watching it and I was like, this just doesn't feel like Doctor Who. It feels like a, a, a sci-fi buddy buddy cop detective series. It doesn't feel like... <laughs> you can tell it's a new show when like, Stephen Moffat. This does not feel like a Stephen Moffat Doctor Who anymore. Um, that's certainly a good thing, I think, for the most part. Um, 
Yeah. And then the ending was really confusing. Where they, <laughs> she's trying to find the TARDIS. She's trying to lock onto the TARDIS because, of course, she lost it, didn't she? And then <laughs> the all just zap into space and they're like... <laughs> and then that was it. it was like, cuts the credits. And, of course, there was no opening titles. Bit weird. Like, why were there no opening titles? I mean, you can say, I know it's a new Doctor, but, you know, in Capaldi, Capaldi's new episode, we got the new titles. Smith's new episode, we got the titles. Um, so, yeah, why don't we get one for Jodie Whittaker? Bit, bit weird. But... So, yeah, um, I think I'm in the minority here about being a bit mixed because the, the vast majority of Doctor Who fans really enjoyed it, you know? And more power to them. If you enjoyed it, I'm happy for you. I I liked it. I liked it. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I, I just... I thought the story was really weak. Um, weak villain. But I've heard, I've heard good things about episode two about it. It gets a lot better. But on the upside, I think the companions... They're going to be really good, and I think Jodie Whittaker is going to be a great Doctor. From what I saw from her in this episode, she's got the character like that already. Thought she was great. Her whole mannerisms, making the new song, making the new song screwdriver, putting on the new outfit in the charity shop, which I thought was really cool. Um, I think she's going to be a really good Doctor, and she had an amazing quote, didn't she, on on the crane about about changing but staying true to who we are, something like that. And that's like obviously that was that was a message to the fans, wasn't it, about her being a woman now, which was great. I think it was a solid entry. I do think probably it was probably the weakest debut episode for a Doctor, though. I well, maybe with deep breath. I feel like in terms of debut episodes, I think Matt Smith with the Eleventh Hour was on par the best. Then probably um, Christmas Invasion, and of course Eccleston, but Eccleston wasn't a regeneration episode, was it? Um, and then then probably this, then deep breath. So I'd say it was second in the bottom tier with deep breath because deep breath was a bad debut episode, wasn't it, for, for poor Capaldi? Um, but yeah, I did enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to seeing where the season goes. Of course, it's only going, only going to be 10 episodes. And it's only going to be a short season compared to Doctor Who standards. But I'm, I'm optimistic. Um, it wasn't a gr great start for me personally, but I'm, I'm still going to stick with the show. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where they go next from here. Um, and yeah. So yeah, guys. What did you think of the new era of Doctor Who, season 11, episode 1, The Woman Who Fell to Earth, all fellow Whovians? Do you agree with me? Were you, were you mixed? Did you hate it? You're like, Doctor Who's ruined it! She's a woman now! Ugh! Are you like all those idiots? <laughs> or are you like most Doctor Who fans who watched it last night and were blown away, like, thought it was really good? So, yeah, guys, comment below, let me know. So, thank you for watching, guys, and, um, yeah, I'll probably do some more Doctor Who reviews as the week goes, because I, I did do reviews for Doc Peter Capaldi's season, I did reviews for Peter Capaldi's season, season 8. Yeah, for, for the first six episodes. So, um, yeah, I might do it for this new season. So, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, see you soon. Bye.